new around here, my name is Hannah Martin and today we're going to be doing a video about all my greatest dancer costumes. Firstly I just want to say I'm, I'm actually kind of devastated that there's not going to be another series of The Greatest Dancer because I had such an amazing time on that show um, and knowing that no one else is going to have that opportunity is really sad. It's honestly opened so many doors for me as a person and as a dancer. They're not doing it this year but who knows they could bring it back another year which I really hope and pray that they will. If you don't know what The Greatest Dancer was it's a BBC TV show that I was on this year. I got all the way up to the semi-finals and I got to wear amazing costumes. The costume team were just incredible. The way that they were theming the costumes and making them week on week for each of the acts was insane so a big big shout out to everyone who helped with the costumes on the great dancer you guys are incredible uh, i have not tried on any of these costumes since the show well most of them today i'm going to be trying them on again which will probably be a bit nostalgic i will probably wish that i was back on the stage being that gladiator <laughs> but without further ado let's get on to the video First costume that I wore before the live shows was this pink katsu. It looks like just a load of bits and pieces, which basically it was. It was like a katsu and I was literally sewn into it 20 minutes before the show was about to start. When I put this on today, I don't think I'm going to be able to put it on as well as they did on the show because I had like two or three people helping me out. <laughs> um, but I will try my best to put it on as best I can. I loved this pink colour, I really did. It was one of those costumes that we didn't actually know what I was going to wear till the morning of the show. Uh, we weren't 100% sure this is what we were going to go with but I'm so glad we did. The softness of the colour and the material, perfect for the type of piece that I did which was really soft and lyrical. So let's go try this one on. getting this thing on because as I told you before I was sewn into this costume I've kind of forgot how to put it back on I'm also missing one armband there should be two armbands like this but I could only find one and I literally just don't know how to put it on because it's so complicated I've tried for the last 20 minutes to try and figure this out I literally can't I can't believe I can't remember how to put my own costume on it's actually really sad that this is the costume pretty much um, we have the half length half length leggings and this beautiful pink colour. So it's meant to be like crossed with loads of layers at the front. I have not done this correctly like it was on the show, but I tried my best. So you have a layer top underneath, then you have this layer which is another top, and then there should be something that attaches to here that was like a little bit of a skirt. But again, I have no idea how to work this thing. This is the back, which um, is not correct at all. Oh my gosh. I feel like this video is going to be a bit of a fail if I don't even know how to put the costumes on. <laughs> I'm going to go hide in my telephone box now. So my second live show was probably my favourite costume. Was it my favourite costume out of all of them? It was definitely up there as one of my favourites, which was this black sequined catsuit. So I wouldn't say it's the most comfortable thing to wear because the sequins did itch a little bit, but it looks so cool on stage. And look how it's reflecting on that light. And these crystals were literally put on the day of the performance. They wanted to give a little bit more shape to the costume. Actually, funny story. When we first had our fitting for this costume, it was a tad too small. This is... This is uh, what happened. So I just came out of my costume fitting. It didn't go great actually. Got into the costume and it split in half. It was um, an interesting day. The costume team had a bit of a job on their hands after that. Gladly they obviously they sorted it all out and they even added these nice kind of feathers at the bottom as well which added another feature to this awesome costume. Let's go try it on. Okay, this was a whole lot easier to get on. I love all the details on it and how it's so like shiny. actually have the majority of costume number three which is the gladiator one I just have this front centerpiece which is really cool but I didn't manage to get the shorts or the little armbands unfortunately again very unique very cool love the sequins that they added to it which gives it a bit femininity too this was a 
costume I was most excited about when I heard that I was doing Athens because I could not wait to try and live my Wonder Woman dream and I got to live it on one of the biggest television shows on the BBC which was absolutely crazy bringing out my inner Wonder Woman on stage and it's actually I think it's made of real leather as well which is crazy I'm gonna have to substitute the shorts some shorts for this but I'm gonna go try it on still to this day this is one of my favorite costumes just because it's really different to anything I've ever worn before it's a little tight again like the catsuit it didn't allow for a lot of movement I worked as much as I could to try and give it a bit more elasticity Elasticity, you know what I'm trying to say. It's been a long day and it definitely gives those Wonder Woman vibes which I absolutely love. It's like the typical kind of gladiator girdle which is really cool. I'll quickly show you a few clips of some close-ups. to week four which was latin what a crazy week you know what i was so excited for all the crystals on this week i saw uvita's costumes each week and i was like kind of envious of all the crystals that she had on her leotards and then it was time for my latin week and i got so many crystals i was the luckiest girl on earth and these awesome tassels it's just covered in crystals um, and i actually can't wait to try this one on again look how crazy that back is it's just absolutely covered in crystals i was a very excited girl when I tried this on yeah let's give it another go <laughs> so this is my latin dress again putting it on back now and just reminds me of learning a beautiful latin style yeah, it takes me back it really does definitely love loved the color loved all these crystals I've been running up and down stairs have my mom help me get these on and I'm a bit out of breath now here are a few close-up clips On to the next one. Now for Oceans, this was probably my favourite costume out of all of them. It had everything, it had the crystals, it had the femininity that I really like, and it had the floatiness. Lyrical is what I'm good at, so obviously a lyrical costume is what I'm going to enjoy performing in most. And this did not disappoint. The final costume was only completed about literally 10 or 20 minutes before we were going on stage. But boy, it was worth it. Again, costume team did an amazing job in such a short space of time. This is actually my favourite leotard or costume to dance in. Or like all the detailing on this arm just insane and I can't wait to try it on right now <laughs> I remember when I first tried this on I really wasn't sure whether I liked it or not but when I saw it moving in my dance I knew it was perfect for what I was doing beautiful arm which is just covered in crystals because when I was dancing it made it look shimmery like the water I might wear it in the future for some future performances I might do let me show you some close-ups So you might have thought that's the end of this video, but actually I have three other costumes that I received when I was on The Greatest Dancer from the opening number and some of them from the glam shoot that we did and one from like a, a behind the scenes bit. Opening numbers that we did every week, I wore the same dress, which was this one. On the first two or three weeks, I had long sleeves and then they cut off the sleeves and brought this new neckline, which was so cute. I wore this recently actually for a music video, which you might have seen. I will link that down below. And it, I was the only one wearing like a long dress for the opening number, which I felt I felt special. Let's go try it on. So we're in the lovely red dress. I'm sorry you can't see full length. I don't have enough depth in this room to show you. What I really love about this costume is definitely the colour and the floatiness of this beautiful skirt. It's very simplistic, but sometimes the simple things in life are what's best. This costume 
costume or dress was actually one that I wore for the glam shoot. So the little clips that you see when they had like the voting lines open when I was doing like the side split loop. And then these cross over the neck, which I'll show you in a minute when I try it on. And actually I think I could probably wear this one again just out to, you know, party, but I never go to parties, so yeah. Right, let's go try it on. Wow, I haven't worn this since the glam shoot, which was like a very, very long time ago. It's quite short, I don't know if you can see, but it just goes up to about my knees. I think when I originally put it on, it was actually full length, but then they cut it a bit shorter, so you could see my extension lines. And I remember when I put this on, I literally felt like a princess. I was so excited. Just one of those moments where I felt so privileged to be part of this amazing show. I'll show you a few more close-ups of this one as well. The final costume, I wouldn't say it is really a costume, it was one that I wore for the Oceans clip, so before I went on for Oceans, I wore this dress, it actually was freezing cold that day and I was so cold. Um, but it was worth it, the clips came out really beautifully and because I'm, I was homeschooled I never got to go to prom so I feel like so lucky because I've kind of got like three or four prom dresses I got to wear them on a TV show which is even cooler so let me go try this final dress on so this is my last one. It literally looks like a mermaid costume, which obviously was perfect for the oceans. I thought it would bring back like really nice memories, but it actually just reminds me of being so freezing cold in that ocean water. <laughs> it's not good for dancing. It's like you can't move your legs. But it's definitely something I might wear on like an evening out, a fancy dinner. But I will I will insert some clips from the filming so you can see the full length of this really beautiful costume. It was so nice trying on all of the costumes all over again. Felt like I could relive some of the amazing magic that I had when I was on the show. Which one was your favourite out of all these? I think my favourite had to be the ocean one. But which one was your favourite? Let me know in the comments down below. Looking back on it, I actually just feel so blessed. Grateful for all the costume team who made this possible. Dude, looking back, I just can't believe that I did the greatest dance. It seems like a dream. It seems like a long time ago. It really wasn't that long ago. But that was a season of my life and now that season's over and I'm going into a new one. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, go check out some of my other gross dance videos. Um, I have lots of them out there. So have a great week. Hope you're staying safe, staying well, staying healthy. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below, and dream big. Make it happen.